Welcome back. We're talking about beauty. This may sound like a very strange question, but are there truly benefits to beauty? Do you really get better grades, better jobs, better success in life because you are better looking? Um, it is a double-edged sword. Um, my publisher uh, quizzed me on the proposed title, An Illustrated Look at Mankind's Love and Hatred of Beauty. And he asked me about, what do you mean the hatred? Isn't beauty just good? You know, all of the studies, what is beautiful is good. Um, beauty provides its owner with a number of advantages and liabilities that exist one at the same time. For example, let's go to kindergarten age children. Kindergarten age beautiful girls receive better treatment from their male teachers and some of their female teachers and universally from the little boys. But the other little girls compete with them. The little girl, as early as the first grade, who's beautiful, begins to receive gifts from the other little boys. There are a group of girls in that same class who are not the recipients of those gifts and the attention. And what happens is, is that those little girls begin to put two and two together, that the pretty girl is getting all of the attention and she's getting the gifts, she's getting more valentines, and teacher may think better of her. And so they become envious, jealous, and that escalates. Also, the little girl, not understanding that she possesses something that is a, that is a commodity as opposed to her. You know, when a little boy looks at the pretty girl, the pretty girl thinks the little boy is looking at her, when in reality, he's looking at it. And there, the little girl understands that she receives lots of attention and understands that that commodity can allow her to buy uh, the friendship and attention and affection of the little boys, but the ones she chooses because it's supply and demand. The other little boys who are deselected by the pretty girl, and she doesn't do this consciously, she simply doesn't pay attention to him because she has a choice, become irritated. They don't like it. Remember, the pretty girl walks in public and she's displaying her wares for everyone to see. It's almost as though it's an invitation, come here, talk to me. But because she's very selective, she says, no, 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 only you can come. Well, that irritates the male. Those men oftentimes want that so badly that they grow up to get lots of money mm -hmm. and to become famous mm -hmm. so that they can do what they wanted to do when they were a kid, have beauty. And sure enough, more often than not, when the rich man, formerly deselected male, gets enough money, the first thing he does is he goes out and he gets beauty. But he never ever does away with the deep-seated ambivalence he loves but he hates. Wow. It's a double-edged sword at best. Beautiful women, for instance in beauty pageants, they're oftentimes very bright. They're oftentimes very accomplished academically, and yet they're not allowed right. to go into academic professions. They are competed with. Um, There's they, an assumption that we make when we see an assumption, a, beautiful, a beautiful woman. An assumption that we make, in the same way the, the, the cruel assumptions that we make about unattractive individuals. And uh, it's very difficult. You know, beautiful people are almost forced to go into certain professions. They're encouraged. Interesting. I'm going to stop you one more time. Let's take another break. Stay with us.